Hi guys, welcome back to Double 18, the Watford Fan Channel. Today, we're going to be reacting to some really, really important and exciting news that Abdoulaye Decoré is on a new five-year contract with Watford, taking him through to 2023. Now, whether he stays till 2023, is, we're going to have to wait and see. But what it does guarantee is another full season at Watford Football Club and a massive, massive price tag to his name. It almost does feel like a new signing. I don't know whether you guys think that. Let me know in the comments. But for me, it just seems like that the whole Watford fan base is reinvigorated after the news that Abdullah has signed a new five-year deal. Even if he does stay for another year, We've got another year out of him. It shows loyalty from his part. Also, Watford, the ambition is there, not only to the fans, but also the player too. Uh, Decore's come out and said, you know, uh, Watford are, are matching his ambition. They put an exceptional offer on the table, which is promising and really exciting from all, from a fan perspective anyway, that Watford are willing to pay and 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 tell their top players that there, there, is, a, there is a future at the club and there is ambition. Um, it's clear that they've, well, they've said to him that they're looking to target a top 10 Europa League finish, which again is massive and really does kind of state the intentions of the Pozzos and, and Duxbury, but also of Abdoulaye Decoré. He could have easily moved on to Tottenham, Arsenal or even Liverpool or even to PSG who have said to be interested. But the fact that he's now signed a five-year contract extension, one shows loyalty, commitment, but also from a club perspective means we'll get another couple of years out of him, hopefully, and then sell him on for a big, big fee. I think as a result of this new five-year deal for Abdullah Decoré, and the fact he's come out and said it's an exceptional offer, I think he'll be our most played player at the club, personally, or right up there anyway, maybe just behind Deeney. But he's going to have to take a ma massive wage uh, increase for Watford to keep him and for him to accept it because he could easily go to a bigger club. I think Abdullah Decoré, I think we all know, he's probably too good for Watford in terms of his ability. He could easily play at a top-six club. But what we do have is someone who's excited to be at Watford. That's a really good sign. He's not just here for the sake of it. Or in, in a similar case to Richarlison, they've both gone different directions. Richarlison could have stayed another year um, and got his head down, but he wanted to move on. But Abdoulaye Decoré said, you know what? I want to show loyalty to Watford. They gave me a chance in the Premier League. I was on the verge of leaving in 2017. And they've given me another chance. And he wanted to really pay that, in my opinion. So I think it's absolutely fantastic from Abdoulaye Decoré. Something which we don't see in the modern game a lot is loyalty. Um, and for him to commit to the cause and, and, and sign a five-year contract is a massive statement of intent. A few things that Abdullah did touch upon in his interview with Watford was quite interesting. Number one was obviously he praised the fans for their support. They, they were amazing and incredible. But also his, uh, well, his injury, but it's almost, it's, it's more almost an illness. He's got appendicitis, which is basically the inflammation of his appendix. Um, so he's been ill, hasn't been well enough to play in the preseason games. But he says he should be back for the Brighton game and, and fully fit to go um, ahead of the new campaign, which is fantastic news. So it's nothing to do with transfer speculation. Um, he's just not feeling too good at the minute. Um, but overall, very, very exciting times at Watford. If we can get a striker in before the end of the window, we've been linked with Paco Alcacer from uh, Barcelona. And if we can maybe just recruit a few more players, and I think it could be a really promising season at Vicarage Road. So uh, if you are excited for the new season, make sure you do leave a like. Don't forget to comment down below. As always, subscribe to W18. We've got a few exciting things lined up um, in the future. So make sure you do subscribe and don't forget to turn on post notifications. And I'll see you in the next video and tomorrow at the Graham Taylor match day.